Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Renode integration in Microsemi's Soft Console version 5.3. There are several topics that will be covered in this video. Firstly, what is Renode? Second, why you should be using Renode in your development. Third, how to use Renode in Soft Console version 5.3. And fourth, a demo of basic Renode functions and features. To get started, let's have a look at what Renode is. It was created by Ant Micro, who are also a founding Platinum member of the RISC-V Foundation. Renode is a platform for agile software development for multi-node embedded systems. It allows the user to connect to, debug and test multi-node embedded systems without needing hardware. It has been in development since 2010 and its development environment is available on GitHub. Renode is an instruction set simulator. It's capable of not only simulating the device, but also the board to create a brilliant virtual platform for software development. You can run multiple nodes simultaneously, and a node is an individual instance of a system. You also have the ability to allow nodes to communicate, which means, for example, you can have multiple nodes running and communicating over a virtual wireless network, while you have access to the entire network with tools like Wireshark. The core behavior, in this case the MyFives behavior, is written in C, and the peripherals like GPIO, UART and Timers can be written in any .NET compatible language like Python or C Sharp. So why should you be using Renode in your software development? Well, for example, it allows for test-driven software development, with compatibility with tools such as GitLab, Jenkins and the Robot Framework. You can configure Renode to provide logs, traces, and also debug the entire platform. And software can be developed without access to the actual hardware, and the software testing environment can be shared between users without the need to share hardware. If you wanted to test how your system would deal with different scenarios, an example of this would be using the loss function to introduce transmission issues for wired and wireless systems. Hooks can also be set up to trigger an action or actions when, certain event, when a certain event occurs or criteria are met. All nodes can be synchronously suspended and inspected, which cannot be done on a physical system. And tools like Wireshark can be used to, with Renode to monitor network traffic. If you wanted to test a design with different peripherals, such as sensors producing live data, you can write the behavior model and provide on-demand generated data for your system. With Soft Console version 5.3, initial Renode integration is available for both Windows and Linux. Single node systems are currently supported, with more features and support for multi node systems coming in a future release. Peripherals such as GPIO, UART, and Timers are available now for users. And Renode will run out of the box on the MyV example projects, such as Interrupt and Cystic Blinky, and the Mandelbrot and Ray Tracer programs. OK, let's have a look at how we can get started using Renode in Soft Console. There are two ways you can launch Renode from Soft Console. Firstly, you can configure a debug session to connect to Renode, manually launch Renode, and then launch the debug session. Or second, you can configure a launch group, which will launch Renode and connect to the debugger automatically. I'm going to show you how to set up both of these configurations now. Let's have a look at option one. First, you need to make two changes to the default debug configuration. Uncheck the Start Open OCD Locally box, and in the GDB client setup, in the command section, add the command set arch risk v colon or v32. Next, Renote needs to be started. This means when the debug session starts, it will be able to connect. To launch Renode, Open the Run menu and then the External Tools heading and select MyV Renode Emulation Platform. This will open two Renode windows, the Renode console and the UART terminal output from the node. You can run commands from the Renode console, such as checking the status of GPIOs, logging parts of the system and opening analyzers for different peripherals. You can also see any UART outputs from the system in the terminal, 
It's recommended to make this full screen to make this full screen to ensure the output displays correctly. Now that you have a running instance of Renode, you can go ahead and launch the debug session that was configured earlier. Now that the debug session has started, you can continue to debug your software as normal through Soft Console. In the demo, I'll show you how to set up and use Renode to check certain aspects of the system. To see the UART output shown, run one of the example Blinky programs. The second way you can launch a debug session with Renode is to configure a launch group. A launch group will run a series of tasks or commands when run. There is a pre-configured launch group for each of the example projects. They first launch Renode and then launch the pre-configured attached to Renode debug session. OK, so now let's have a look at actually doing this in Soft Console. In this demo, I'll do the following. Launch Renode manually and run the attached to Renode debug configuration, which was option one. When I do this, I'll show you how the Renode console was set up and how to use the UART output. Then I'll show you how to launch debug session with one of the launch groups and how to use the Renode console with some basic commands. So let's have a look at actually using Renode in Soft Console. This is my Soft Console 5.3 workspace. If you look here, I have the bundled sample projects. And I'm going to start by having a look at the Ray Tracer project. Double click to open the project and then open the source folder. And then open the main.cpp file. The first thing I'm going to do is build the project. And while it's building, let's have a look at the debug configurations. So what I want to do is highlight the difference between a regular debug session and an attached to Renode. So this Ray Tracer debug session here would be run on a device. It'll start open OCD locally and connect to the hardware. Whereas if you look at the attached to Renode debug session, you don't need to run open OCD. And you also need to add the set arch command to the GDB client configuration. When you've done all of that, you have an attached to Renode debug configuration. Now that my project is finished building and I've set up my debug, I can run Renode by doing run external tools my v Renode emulation platform. When Renode has started, you'll see a Renode console window as well as a Renode UART output. You can see here that this is showing me the UART output from Syspulse. So if I go to Syspulse, I can see that my UART is connected to the bus at 0x7 if I minimize this and put my UART and Soft Console windows side by side, if I launch the debug session that was configured to attach to Renode and give it a second to launch, you can see that it's launched and broken on main. If I run the program, you can see the UART output is showing correctly on my UART window. Let me stop the program now. When you stop the debug session, you can see that my debug session in Soft Console has terminated. But my Renode Console and UART output are still open. You need to make sure that both of these windows are closed after each debug session. You can also terminate and remove the debug instances to ensure that the debug sessions have closed properly. Now I'll show you this method of launching Renode on the Mandelbrot UART project. I'll open this up here and open up the main.c file and then build it. While it's building, I can launch Renode from Run, External Tools and Renode Emulation Platform. Once I've given Renode a chance to launch, I can once again see my Renode console and it's the same configuration of Syspus. And I also get my UART output again. If I put my UART and Soft Console beside each other and launch my debug session, and I'm going to launch the attached to Renode pre-configured debug session, my debug session will start and the UART will connect but it will not output correctly. This is because the UART output window is not sized correctly and is overflowing onto the next line. This is actually very easy to fix. I just need to make my UART output full screen when I run my program. I want to show you what will happen if I try and connect now without closing and reopening Renode. 
As I said earlier, you need to make sure that all instances of Renode are closed before starting a new debug session. So when this one tries to connect, it fails. I'll stop Soft Console trying to connect to Renode and close both of the Renode windows. I'll go into the debug perspective and I can terminate and remove my debug sessions. I'll launch Renode again from the Run External Tools and MyV Renode Emulation Platform and give it a second to open. My UART output's opened and I'm going to make it full screen now. Return to Soft Console and relaunch the debug session. My debug session's launched and it's successfully broken on main. And don't forget, as I said, my UART is now full screen. If I return to Soft Console and run the program, I get the UART output that I'm expecting. Now that I've shown you how to manually launch Renode, let's have a look at using one of the group launchers. If I close my Renode windows and terminate and remove my debug sessions, I'll open up the Interrupt Blinky program. I'll open up main and build the project. While it's building, let's have a look at the debug configurations again. So we know this debug session is for hardware. If I go into the attached to Renode 1 in debug configurations, it won't start open OCD and it is the set arch command in the GDB client setup. Now if I have a look at this group launcher, as I said, these will run a list of tasks. In this case, it starts Renode for you and waits for, it to, waits for it to confirm its launch successfully. And then it will launch the attached Renode debug configuration, which is what I configured for the last two projects, and there's a pre-configured version already included. Now I can go ahead and start the debug session using the launch group. Soft Console is going to start Renode for me, and you can see I have my console here, and I also have my UART output. It's also started my debug session and my program is broken on main for me. So I don't yet have any UART output and I'll go ahead and run the program. If I go back to my UART, you can see that the blinky hello message has come up. That's one example of using a launch group. I'll close these Renode windows and let's have a look at the Cystic Blinky program. During this, I'll show you some of the basic commands that you can use in the Renode console. So let's open up this project and go to main.c. And the first thing I'll do, again, is build it. Once that's done, I'll open up the debug configurations and select the pre-configured launch group. I once again have my UART output and a Renode console. So if I go back into Soft Console and run my program, I'll be able to see the UART hello message. Now this message tells me to observe LEDs blinking on the board, but how do I see them without physical hardware? If you look at the main.c file, you can see the Cystic handler, and then you can see the LEDs will blink that every time a system tick occurs by changing the GPIOs in the handler. If I put a break on this setGPIO function, the program will break here for me. And if I return to my Renode console, which I have here, I can see that on Sysbus I have GPIO outputs at 0x7 0005000. You can just type commands into the Renode console, and let's have a look at how to check our GPIOs. To do this, I'll type sysbus.gpio outputs and then hit enter. This will list all of the GPIO commands available to use with the peripheral, and I want to use the GPIO get outputs command. Type back in the sysbus.getoutputs command, followed by the get GPIOs command. This gives me the status of all of the GPIO outputs in my system. If I return to Soft Console, my program is still broken on the line that changes the GPIO outputs. Let me run it again. And I go back to Renode and I can see that my GPIOs actually haven't changed. 
Let me run the program one more time and check my, AG, my GPIOs again. And you can see that GPIO0 was set and is now unset. And GPIO1 was unset and is now set. That's an example of checking the status of GPIOs and it's a similar process for other peripherals. If you're going to be checking different peripherals, you don't always need to type sysbus before them. If you're always going to be using sysbus, you can use the using command so you don't have to keep stating it. You just need to type in using sysbus and then enter. Now when you want to check the status of GPIOs, just type GPIO outputs. And then the command will work. So if I type GPIO outputs and get GPIOs, You can once again see that I have a status list for my GPIO outputs without having to type sysbus. This is very helpful and if I run my program a few more times to get another change in the LEDs, you can see that I had GPIO 0 unset, GPIO 1 set and GPIO 2 unset, and now I have GPIO 0 still unset, GPIO 1 is now unset and GPIO 2 is set. This is the pattern that the LEDs in your device would change in if you were running Blinky on hardware. You can find out more information on all of the commands available to be used with Renode on their website. That concludes the demo for this presentation. So that's it for this video on Renode integration into Soft Console version 5.3. To summarise, Renode is an instruction set simulator and was created by AntMicro who have been developing it since 2010. It allows you to connect to, debug and test multi-node networked embedded systems, which provides a test-driven system development environment with access to the entire platform with no hardware required. Because of this, development environments can easily be shared. And Soft Console 5.3 has started integration with Renode. You have support for single node debugging environments at present with multi-node support and more features coming in future releases. The bundled My5 example projects come with pre-configured Renode debug configurations and launch groups.